What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are doing the 89 Essentio player moments card that just came out. Currently going for around 80k, so it's actually quite cheap for this card. Now 88 pace, a 90 dribbling, 86 shooting, 89 pace and sorry passing and 68 physical. Now I would say the one problem about this card is definitely that physical stat and the fact that he's a left wing. Personally, I don't think this card's gonna be a left wing. I believe he's gonna be a perfect cam. Or even maybe like a, a low key, you could play him like striker, depending on how good he's finishing is. Now, he is obviously six foot, so I've used six foot players before. They haven't been that big of a problem, so I'm not going to really go into that too much. High, medium, deep, perfect attacking work rates. Four star skill moves, the Berber spin, the Berber spin and the standing scoop turn should be perfect on this guy. The three star weak foot is going to be an issue. I'm not going to be able to cut onto that right foot and obviously shoot with it. I'll give it a go, but... I, I already know I've used probably freestyle weak foot players a lot and it never ends well. Now, he is on a sniper chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 90 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. A pretty decently fast player, but at the same time, do I believe that, pa that pace is going to be enough down the wing? Probably. I'll give it a go. Why not? 92 attacking positioning, eight, uh, 98 finishing, 92 shot power with no finesse shot trait or outside foot shot trait. So that that is going to be a bit of a problem, but hopefully just like, you know, the normal power shots go into the back of the net. 90 long shots, 94 volleys and 90, no, sorry, 81. I think it is 81 penalties, quick maths. Anyway, 89 vision, 89 crossing, 82 free kick accuracy, 89 short passing, 87 long passing, and 90 curve. This is why I said he's more of a cam than a winger because personally, I don't believe I can waste that that good of a passing stats down the wing because usually when you go down to down the wing, it's rather run down it or cut back instantly. It and I believe in a cam role, you're a bit more creative and you can use that passing stats to you know his full potential. Now he's got 94 agility with the sniper chem style. We needed a sniper chem style to give that 94 agility because it's going to make it very agile on the ball. Now he's got 86 balance, 88 reactions, 98 ball control, 99 dribbling and 93 composure. A very, very nice calm and composed player that will probably be taking very nice touches when turning. Now he's got 86 stamina, which means he's going to be lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes. So that's always a nice sight to see. 66 strength and full T9 aggression. This guy's going to be getting bodied off the ball left, right and centre. And most likely he will be losing a lot of 50-50s. Now, today I have linked him up with player of the month, Suarez and Kubo. I've also got the likes of De Jong, Vidal and Messi in the team. I will be using Asensio in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that cam role. But I also want to try him down the wing as well. So I will be playing 4-2-3-1 on the left cam as well. And I want to try him up front because I don't believe I can give away someone that's got 98 finishing down the wing or even a cam spot. So I will be, be will be trying him in a 4-4-2 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Now the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just see how agile someone really is. So this is essential on the ball. Always going to be very, very nice. Turning in and out like there's no tomorrow. And then I decide I want to pass it straight into someone. Brilliant. Sensio just waiting for the ball there. Very nice turn. Little cheeky turn. Can I go for a power shot? That was an unbelievable shot to be fair to him. But he just smacked the crossbar. There was a bit too much power onto it. So I need to settle down with that as well. He did really well to get that ball back. Beautiful play. Cut onto that left foot. Asensio in front of goal. The clear cut chance goes into the back of the net. Finally, we have got a goal. It took 13 minutes and... For me, I believe that first shot had a really, really good chance of going in, but I also believe I overpowered it a little bit. But this time, I didn't, and it's into the back of the net. Beautiful. That was a nice roulette. Just timed perfectly. Can I thread that to Suarez? Yes, I can. Going to try to get a little pass back to Asensio. Super, super unfortunate. But you kind of can see what I'm doing here. Just getting them little cheeky one-twos going with Suarez and Asensio. Asensio on the turn. Half drag back. I'm going to cut onto that right foot. Fake shot. Go back onto the left. It's unbelievable. Come on. Come on. We've hit crossbar, what, twice now in, I wouldn't say two clear cut chances. I feel like that chance was better than the other one. But that was unbelievable dribbling from him. I can't tell you enough how good he feels on the ball. It is stupid. And I never expected a six foot player to help like feel how he feels. Really good run from Asensio once again. Come on, I'm just going to flick it. Use that pace to get down that wing. 
Little ball roll. Going to wait for the perfect pass to Kubo. It is a beautiful pass and we have got our second goal. Really nice from Sensio there. Just playing him down the wing. Beautiful run from him there. And that little cutback, just the pass towards Kubo was absolutely beautiful. Nice little one-two. Little ball roll to Kubo. Back to Sensio. Going to turn. Go back onto that left foot for another strike. This guy's shooting is ridiculous. And this is why I am currently playing him up front. Because I knew I wasn't going to waste this kind of finishing down the wing or even in a cam position. I can tell already though he can he's going to be an amazing cam. But look at him up front. Look what he's doing. He's causing damage. Come on Asensio. Get that acceleration going. Going to start us somewhere. Going to go full with Ah, the guy did read it. But you can see the acceleration from Asensio there. It is honestly unbelievable how fast he's like. He gets off from point A to point B. Suarez to Asensio. A beautiful run. I'm going to hit this actually across goal. And it's an unbelievable finish from him once again. He's just finding himself in gaps that I don't really expect any other striker to kind of find. It's weird. He's positioning on the, oh sorry, off the ball is literally unbelievable. And he's finishing right now. It's just out of this world. Asensio down the wing here. Great acceleration. Just going to keep going. Going to fake shot. That's super, super unfortunate because he started to slow down a little bit when he went around that corner. So it looks like Asensio is one of those players that can't really run around the corners like Adama Traore or Daniel James can. He's one of those players where he takes it very calm down the, down the wing and then he needs to cut back and then obviously pass it away. Oh, that wasn't the greatest touch from him and it put me in a very, very awkward situation. I was obviously holding RT. I wanted him to sprint, but it looks like he just took a very, very bad touch. Little flick. Come on, use that pace. Facial around the corner. And again, mm, he has got it back to be fair to him. Oh my God, they gave that as a free kick. But you can kind of see where his strength slacks a lot. Obviously, in them little fake shots around the corners, you need strength to get around it so you don't get bodied off like he just did. And it's a bit unfortunate he doesn't have that strength. Asensio, good touch. Really nice acceleration. Beautiful fake shot. Super, super unfortunate not to get past him there. Oh, come on, Suarez. Asensio is making that beautiful run once again, but Suarez can't deliver to him. Nah, that is exactly what I was expecting. As soon as he gets into that shoulder to shoulder bot, like shoulder to shoulder animation, he's gonna get bodied by literally literally everyone because he has no strength. It's like he drops down to the floor so easily. That's beautiful. Oh, come on. Can I get a good touch from Kubo there? That is super unfortunate. I'm currently playing him in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that cam role like I said I would. And I'll tell you what, he's playing very nice there. He's linking up with a lot of players. He, that ball to Kubo was super, super nice. He had to lift it over the person in front of Kubo. But Kubo just took a terrible touch and he's kind of screwed up the whole attack. Oh, that pass. Give it back to him. Cut on to the left foot. Ah, should have just gone all the way. Very nice shielding from him, though. Very calm and composed just to get the ball back. And it was a beautiful touch from him. Nice. Really good strength. Can I get that through ball as well? Yes, I can. Just slightly offside. But it was an amazing ball from Asensio once again. And I tell you what, he's looking like a very, very deadly striker slash cam. He makes these runs that, like, it makes so much sense to make. And I, especially this year, like, there's a lot of uh, players that don't make very, like, educated runs, if you know what I mean. I'm going to bang it. Why not? Oh, my God. It was a decent volley, to be fair to him. But I had no intention of that going in. Let's all be fair. Beautiful one-twos. Going to just cut onto his left foot. I'm actually going to go for finesse. Not the greatest finesse, that is something I can tell you. It was a bit of a, a bit of an awkward finesse. Didn't have enough power into it, didn't even have enough accuracy in it, and it kind of let me down a little bit. So it is time to review him, and let me say, this card is actually very, very nice. It's not what I actually expected. I was, I was kind of expecting a guy that's not going to feel amazing on the ball, and it's going to be more of the player that can be calm and composed and just pass away, but he completely proved me wrong. This guy is one of those players you are going to go on these little dribbles with. He is going to be very nice, calm and composed, as I said. But it's in a way, he's like a really, really nice cam. Now, six foot wasn't a problem at all. Didn't even feel like I was playing with a six foot player, which is very, very impressive. The high, medium work rates, the runs he makes, I've never really seen it on like a 
on like a Daniel James, a Dharma, or even, you know, a top tier striker. It's weird. He makes these runs that kind of make sense. And this is what I've been looking for in FIFA 20 for a very, very long time. I kind of found it in Neymar in a way because he makes really, really good run uh, runs. But Asensio has got that like ed educated runs, if you know what I mean. Now, the four star skill moves, the Burba Spin has to be my favorite skill move of him. He does this Burba Spin, which is super, super fast around the corners and doesn't give your opponent enough time to react. Now, the three star weak foot. Do not shoot with that weaker foot. It goes, it rather hits post or goes off target. And that's always going to be a problem. Now, pace wise, really, really nice. So he's actually super, super fast. And he can actually play down the wing and do all these like fake shots around the corners. Once doing the fake shot around the corner though, I'll be careful because a problem I had with him was after doing that fake shot, he would take like a really bad touch and then kind of lose the ball. Shooting wise, unbelievable. The amount of power, the amount of accuracy he hits behind it is outrageous. Passing wise, he can do these long passing, aka one side of the pitch completely to the other, the over the tops. The give and goes a little one two. I completely loved him and Suarez up front. They were amazing with each other. Dribbling on the ball, very nice. On the spot dribbling was really, really close to his feet, but at the same time being, you know, really, really agile. And running touches could do with a bit of work. He has a bit of a weird animation when trying to run and touch the ball at the same time. Stamina lasted throughout the whole game, so that's always a nice sight to see. The strength, biggest problem on this card, hands down. This guy gets bodied left, right, and center, and if you are on a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder kind of animation, you will lose it 100%. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed this card, and for 80k, I'm going to go tell you guys to instantly go pick him up. He is 100% worth it, and if you can't fit him in your team, get him as a super sub. It's easy as that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.